doesn't need to be the same reason like the case is similar to the case of the Liberian. It's it's very faint. Yeah. It's a future of these these uh, ethnic bantu stands armed to the teeth and surrounded with balls. So it just gives you like a little uh, And I like here at the end of this paragraph it says he received 38% of all anti Semitic tweets aimed at journalists in 2016. This is a statistic from the ADL, which is like. Uh, that, 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 that's that was me yeah. looking at him over and over again. I'm going to fold you in half and shove you in a big gulp cup. See, I the first, yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. I would really like to see an up on how many of these abusive tweets were genuinely anti Semitic or half of them were. Like being like, I'm going to trap him in a dollhouse and have my cat eat me. <laughs> At least half of them were Felix, though. Yeah, yeah. Excuse me, but cats, those were the Nazis in not speaking with mouse. <laughs> yeah, um, but I just love that the, the ADO or someone out there is just keeping actual statistics on how badly he gets owned and dunked on on Twitter all the time. So, going on now, I know this is really great. Uh, there's a real battle for hearts and minds going on the right right now. And Ben is one of the main warriors. Said David French. Cause the national warrior. Pugilistic. Dude, this article is bringing back so many more friends. Oh, God. David French. And, and, you know, you can, All you, the cucks are coming out to defend my, Ben and call him a take, warrior. You can take my word for it that he's a warrior. I understand war. I went to Iraq. And I, I was in charge of ordering uh, Jimmy John's for the office at the Chad Corps in the Green Zone. I know what war is. Mr. French calls Mr. Shapiro a principled gladiator. They keep using this language. It's insane. This is like, again, warrior, I just gladiator, imagine, pugilist. I just imagine Ben Shapiro with a fucking trident and a net fighting in the Coliseum. <laughs> Like I said, glad, all, the, all, the, all the language and, 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 and you know jobs of, of combat and war. This all are, are you not entertained? This is <laughs> this is all due to the fact that Ben Shapiro goes to college campuses and triggers snowflakes by being like there are two genders. Sorry, that, that, that's that's get the backlash. The, the no, that's just it. Nobody yeah. cares. Nobody gives a yeah. shit. It's like we're up on Charles Kirk. Oh, he's a, he's a, he's a Milwaukee 
a drive time conservative fucking radio shit head. And he's a reliable voice of reaction to suburban racism generation in the but then Trump came around and he wasn't going to get it. This is the guy that's been profiled recently. He's just been like, oh, wait a second. I think, you know, my, I'm, I'm shocked that all of the listeners whose base prejudices have been stoking yeah. on the radio and their car for the last yeah. few years. Yep. And uh, weird racist feelings yeah. and, uh, and actually admire and love Donald Trump. Yeah. The enti- my entire job for 30 years is channeling the argument that you shouldn't let the inner city buses go out to Waukesha County. That's the sum total of the fucking ideology on this way for 30 years. And now Trump has gone too far. Well, he retired from his show. He doesn't have a radio show. Now he wrote a book on his channel too late. He's a gladiator in his own. Well, no, he's described here as a conservative pundit and Trump critic. Yeah, and he goes on to describe that as he's high octane. <laughs> Bill Buckley looking down and smiling. No, I can imagine Bill Buckley looking.